Now, movement in Remothered Broken Porcelain looks tricky and intimidating, but once you kind of get the gist of all the controls, it becomes pretty simple. Now, all the bad guys in Remothered Broken Porcelain and in uh, Tormented Fathers um, are called stalkers, so I'm going to be referring to all the bad guys trying to kill you as stalkers. So basically, all it really is, is just baiting an attack and running away. You kind of have to slow down when they're near you and then sprint away as fast as you can and then just go around them. A good example of this type of dodging is the sprint back dodge in Resident Evil 2. Um, basically, in that game, you have to bait an attack, then run backwards, and then around them. The if you do manage to successfully dodge an attack, I'd recommend throwing something at them. Kind of like in fighting games, where you whiff punish. Hey, you. Back to where you came from. There's a section in the game where all three stalkers are pursuing you, and uh, the only tip I have with that is to avoid corners at all costs. Now, to summarize, basically you just have to wait, bait, and run. Remember that, wait, bait, and run. Now, Ashman is different because he has a gun, so the best thing is to hide behind objects. Come here, little now, we're coming to an end of this video. I hope it helps you out in your experience with Remothered, and I hope you understand the movements better. So, thank you so much for watching.